Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve sellem ecma'in. Allahümme enfani bimme allemteni ve allemni bimme yanfani ve zidni elmen inneke l'alimul hakim. Allahümme akhrijna min zulumatil vahim ve akrimna bi nuril fahim ve ifte aleyna bi ma'rifetil ilm ve sehhel ahlakına bil hilm. اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين. My topic today is a short talk about the osteitis pubis. What is osteitis pubis? Osteitis pubis is is non-infectious inflammation of pubic symphysis. Patient presented with varying deg degree of bulbic or perineal or lower abdominal vein reproduced by abduction by abduction the pathology of the ostitis pubis and the etiology is sometimes unknown but of the most common causes is pregnancy and childbirth high level of athletic activity and urologic or gynecological surgery, trauma, psoriatic arthritis, and ankylosing spondylitis. The radiology of ostitis pubis in the brain film, we see the erosive changes involving the joint here as we see here with some irregularity and some sclerosis and eventually lead to ankylosis. Positive findings are not apparent until four weeks after the onset of symptoms. Here is another patient with ostitis pubis with irregularity of the joint space with subcondural erosions and here we see some sclerosis. Here another patient with ostitis pubis with sclerosis of the pubic symphysis and the differential diagnosis include bilateral stress fracture and of the pubic symphysis and osteomyelitis. Here is another patient with ostitis pubis with irregularity of the joint and some sclerosis. As we see here, it is treated with fixation. Initially, the treatment is conservative, but if the symptom persists after 12 weeks, surgical intervention is an option. A number of procedures have been described, but they are involved either resection of the symphysial cartilaginous disc or fusion of the joint. Both types of procedure have reasonable return to play rates. MRI findings demonstrate parasymphysial maroedema, although this finding may also be seen in a symptomatic individual. Symphysial fluid and peripubic soft tissue edema or during the initial stage may be also seen. Subcondural sclerosis, subcondural resorption, and bony margin irregularities are, and osteophytes may be seen with chronicity of the disease. Here, a patient with uh, Ostitis pubis, as we see here, the, this, there is a fluid in the in the symphysis pubis joints, and there is edema of the symphysis pubis. And the fluid in the symphysial gap. Here, a patient with ostitis pubis, we see irregularity of the joint with the 
evolutions and osteophyte formation giving the appearance of a pubic beaking and symphysial gap and disc exit erosion superiorly as we see here. Here another patient with the ostitis pubis. We see the edema as we see here in the axial T2 fat set and the, and the fluid in the symphysial gap and some irregularity of the joints. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك